Hello all, Schuster here. What we're going to do today is talk about a quick and easy tip for making inexpensive coffee when the grid's down. Okay? Everyone knows coffee makers take a lot of energy, especially if you're going to keep them on and keep a pot hot. So most of us have already decided we're going to go ahead and go to these simple coffee makers that will do one cup at a time. And I'm going to show you a simple, easy way to do it. I'm using this simple model right here. You can see what kind it is, if you'd like. Uh, for the demonstration today, I'm using a, a uh, pure sine wave inverter. This is 2,000 watt from Voltsworks. Most of you know I use just regular modified. But for things like coffee makers and microwaves, they actually like pure sine wave a little better. And I'll be using a, uh, a 200 amp hour lithium battery. It's one of my little mobile carts I use, move it around the house, plug things in as needed. Okay, let's go over to the coffee. All right, because coffee is necessary if we're going to have an end of the world event. Naturally, can't fight zombies unless you've had your coffee in the morning. Now, as most of you know, they'll come with these little pre-made cups right here, right? This is just an inexpensive one, dollar store. But even these, after a while, can get expensive, especially now. So the trick I'm going to show you is this. Most of these coffee makers will come with one of these inside. Now, it looks like just a placeholder, right? Let's go ahead and turn this on to make sure it's all warmed up. But in fact, if you open it, there is a place right there to put the coffee in. So you can buy the most inexpensive coffee that you can afford to drink. I have here, what is this? Great value. Classic roast. Value size, of course. So we're going to take this and we're going to fill this up right there. And I'm going to bring it over here and put it in here. Now let's move this around a little. Last thing we need is Mrs. Shoestring coming in here yelling, I've messed up the room for her. All right, just a little mess. Not too bad. I've made much worse, so we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so now that you have it in there, right? The amount you want in. Make the coffee just like you would normally make yours, but one cup. Put it inside, just like you would do with one of these. All right, then we take our coffee, our coffee cup, we close it down, pick the appropriate coffee level. For this little cup, it will be the middle one, right there. Middle one, right there. And now, we're gonna make the most inexpensive coffee, and still a coffee, by the way, you'll like, because you'll be picking out the kind of coffee you want to use. Right? So we'll let's let this run. Let's go look at our inverter. And it still says 13.0. All right. Now it's coffee maker, so it's going to drop just a little before it picks back up. Coffee makers take a great deal of power. And they will do a lot of initial draw. So just be aware of that. And your battery, once it's done, should go right back up. It did its initial draw, and it's right back up, 13.0. Now, if you're using an AGM or wet lead acid, and you can, you have to remember your draw is going to be a lot deeper than it is with the lithium. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so there it is. We have coffee, yum yum. We go. Coffee pot off. No longer draining any power. And we're back to normal. Okay, so there's your little tip. Inexpensive and it doesn't drain that much power from your battery bank. I hope that helps. If if you folks like little tips like this, please let me know and I will do some more. Put down in the comments if you like the member to subscribe and like. And shoestring out.